So a couple of days ago on TSN in Canada, a segment showing off a robotic hockey goalie was displayed. This robot was made by the FRC Team 7200. For a little more background, my name is Lucas and I am the lead coder from September 2022 to June 2023 for the FRC Team 7200. And in this video, I will go over the code specifics of how the 7200 robotic hockey goalie works. But before I get started, there will be a link in the description to the clip of the live broadcast where the goalie was showcased. Alright. Now before I get into the specifics of how the robot works, let's understand the two modes it has and dive into each mode separately. The two modes of the robot that are run in the code loop are the manual mode and the auto mode. Pretty simple. Now let's look into the manual mode first. So in the manual mode, a custom control box built by the skilled people in the team contains multiple buttons that toggle solenoids corresponding to different limbs in the pneumatic system. Due to how the button input system works, to prevent the if statement hell, I made a class that would contain a reference to the custom control box, a limb solenoid, and the ID of the button that would control the limb solenoid. Thanks to this class, I am able to simply create an array of this class plugging in the solenoids along with the buttons corresponding with each solenoid. And in the robot's loop, I can just loop over each instance in the array and run their internal functions, thus leading to the driver being able to toggle pistons using buttons. Oh shoot. Now, a small issue when dealing with these buttons is the position of the driver relative to the goalie. If they are in front of the goalie, the buttons for the left side should be on the right side. So to account for this, a separate array would be made that would store the flipped controls. And when the switch to flip the controls is on, then the flipped array would be looped over instead of the regular array. So that is all for how the manual mode works. Now let's get into how the auto mode works. The primary driver of the auto mode is the Limelight 3. The Limelight 3 is a camera with some pretty powerful image recognition built for the first robotics competition. Let's now take a look at the calculations with the data that Limelight provides. The Limelight camera provides three values. The three values being the X position of a detected object, the Y position of a detected object, and the amount of area the detected object takes up on the screen. Now with this data, after tons of trial and error, using a bunch of if statements and value comparisons, Lines were defined that would effectively make rectangles for specific robotic reactions, therefore leading to a rudimentary but working AI for a hockey goalie which is very fun to watch work. Are we good? Yeah. Three, two, one. Oh! This year of my robotics team was an amazing experience, making new friends and learning tons of new things, and with this exposure, I have high hopes for the future of the robotics team. This goalie robot would not be possible within the small time frame given if the whole team did not come together and work on the many intricacies of the robot, and I am very grateful for the teamwork that led to such an opportunity to have our work displayed on live television. With that said, like and subscribe, and I hope to see you all in the next video. Goodbye.